Hey everybody, my name is Dallas and it's time to thrive, okay? Enough is enough. I tell people all the time, when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, they'll do something about it. Well, tonight I'm going to be sharing with you some insight and, and it's going to start to build a, a, a solid foundation for you as far as uh, uh, sales goes. Of course, everybody's in sales. Everybody's been in sales since they were a little baby and they want a you know, candy bar, milk or whatever. Or, Got a little older, you wanted that bicycle, and you know, my kids are a perfect example. Dad, can we have these cookies? No, no, no. Dad, can we have these cookies? No, 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 no. Dad, you know, <laughs> can we have some cookies? No, I said. Dad, you like these? And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so they, they learned at a young age, you know what, how to sell. Uh, anyway, I've been doing this for 47 years. I'll be 62 Cinco de Mayo, and uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be having a Zoom birthday party. The sad thing about it is, is obviously, you know, I'm not going to get any presents. And listen, I don't care how old you get, you still like presents, right? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to talk about the first steps to selling. First thing we need to understand is we got to sell ourselves. The reason for that is, is you know, we have to build rapport with our potential client. And I'm going to teach you how to do that because there's no second chance to create a good or a great first impression, is there? Of course, how are we going to, you know, why do we need to do that, Del? Well, it's because 80% of all the people that buy from those whom they like, trust, and feel comfortable with. Now, I, I want to caution you about this, though, but just because they like you and trust you and feel comfortable with you doesn't mean they're going to buy from you. You know, I found out, you know, after... A friend of mine, I can't, you know, I waited and I thought, well, we're buddies, everything's going to be a hunky dory. Well, what I found out later on is he went out and shot me. Well, the good news was, is because I was better at presenting and I did have a better product for the right price, he ended up buying from me and that's when he shared with me that, you know what, I went out and I shot you. So that's how I know. So a lot of things I've learned, I've learned the hard way. Now I want to share a, a leadership tip with you. And that is this, experience will never be your best teacher. It's evaluating experience is always going to be your best teacher. So I got 47 years of evaluation going for me. Of course, if you treat everybody the same, you're probably treating everybody wrong. I, I always tell the story, I was waiting on this guy and he was stiffer than a board and I walked up and I started to mess with him, joking with him, you, know, you tell that I'm not that type of person. Shoot, I go to the grocery store and I have, you know, older women start picking on me. I go, do I know you? It's like game on everywhere I go, right? But anyway, I started messing with this guy and what happened was, is he wasn't laughing. You know what I did? I stopped joking with him. <laughs> uh, of course, whenever we answer the telephone, always have a smile on your face. I understand we get busy sometimes and we don't want to get interrupted, but we should be grateful that they're calling. And I'm telling you, if you call around stores, you can tell who has a smile on their face and who doesn't. I remember calling this one store and the guy goes, what? I go, uh, do you guys do, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> well, what I want to do is I want to come down there and give you all my money. Not, <laughs> I hung up the phone. Uh, think, when the phone's ringing, I want you to think about that Ben's calling you. Well, who's Ben, you might ask? Well, I'm going to introduce you to him. Ben is on a hundred dollar bill, okay? So I want you to think that, hey, this is Ben calling me right now and I need to get it together. Also, whenever we meet people in person, you always want to have a smile on your face. It makes them feel good about themselves, it makes them feel good about yourself. And that's important. Uh, whenever you have an opportunity to write an email, put a smile on your face. You know, we need to understand that our attitude is more important than our circumstances. And I don't know where I learned what I'm going to share with you now, but I want you to pay close attention to it because it's extremely important. It doesn't necessarily matter what's going on on the outside of you. What matters is what's going on on the inside of you. Okay? And then, of course, the battlefield's going to be right here <laughs> between the ears. So, anyway, I'll keep going. So, I have assignment for everybody. Every time you see yourself in front of the mirror, smile. If you want to take it a step further, every time you see yourself in the front of a mirror, I want you to say this, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. Well, you know, this and this is going on. I don't care, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. <clears throat> Excuse me, what's interesting is if you say it long enough, you'll start believing it, and people will pick up on that, I guarantee it. 
Uh, let's keep going. Of course, always make eye contact in your presentation, mano y mano, okay? To look around or pass somebody or you're, you're spending time, you know, on your phone, that ain't going to work, all right? So always eye contact because if you're looking down and around, you're going to create fear and fear is going to be the number one killer of all sales and so we don't want to do that. Oh, always be enthusiastic. But the thing about enthusiasm is, is nothing will ever be sold without enthusiasm. So we need to be enthusiastic. We need, you know, we need to have that. Now I'm not talking about a bunch of chair leaning or any of that other stuff. I need, you know what? This is in your best interest. This is why you should do this. This is why I do business with this company. This is why I work where I work. See, we need to be enthusiastic about those things. Uh, let's go. Always get your potential client's name or their names, their children's name, asterisk, grandchildren's name, and use their name exactly how they give it to you because when you use their name, it's the sweetest sound to their ears and it's one of the fastest ways I know to build rapport. Now, use caution when asking if they have grandchildren or not, all right? Because they might look older, but they might not be as old as they look and you don't want to offend anybody. I tell everybody my honey story. I have a honey business and we go to home shows. Well, honey, if you take a tablespoon before you go to bed at night, it'll help you lose weight. Well, when I said that to ladies, they look back at me, what, do I look fat? I go, wait a minute, I'm gonna have to change what I say. Well, what causes it to lose weight? Oh, it's because it speeds up your metabolism. When you speed up your metabolism, you burn calories. And when I made that change, I didn't get hit with, what, do I look fat? <laughs> So when you get hit, you know, remember what I said at the beginning, experience is never your best teacher. Evaluated experience is always going to be your best teacher. Assignment. For every person you meet or get to meet in the future, I want you to practice, you know, getting and using their name exactly how they give it to you. Now, one time I was in New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. Their names are about that long, all right? So, Dell, what what'd you do? I mean, there's no way I could say it. I go, well, instead of trying to you know, say your name and blow it up, you go by a nickname. And they gave me the nickname, and that's how I built rapport. Let's keep going. Always give your potential client equal time talking and looking at them. I can't tell you how many times that in my career, I'd go, hey, have you seen something you, that you like? Yes. Why didn't you buy it? And they say, well, you know what? I went and talked to this guy, and... I asked him a question and, and he wouldn't even answer me. It was like I wasn't even there. And I would always say, well, I love that guy. And they go, really, why? I go, because if he would have treated you right, you wouldn't be here buying it now, would you? And you know what would happen? They go, yeah, that's right. And you know what else would happen? They would buy it from me now. Assignment. When talking to two or more people, practice giving them equal time. All right, simple, simple assignment. Another assignment. Write out 10 reasons why I should do business with you. Now, I used to have people that write out 25 reasons. But if you write out 10, you're going to be 10 times better than the average person. You write out 25, you're going to be 15 times better than the guy that writes out 10. But it's going to be more difficult than you think, and i got to warn you, because you'll start wanting to repeat yourself. But if you'll spend the time, why should somebody do business with me? And sincerely, you know, Program yourself. Hey, you know what? I got this going on. I got that going on. You know, I remember going to Tony Robbins meetings and one of the things I, I took away from it, he said, you know, always pat yourself on the back when you do something good. So you're doing something good right now. You're spending time with me. Pat yourself on the back. You're, you know, you deserve it, especially when you have to suffer through this, right? <laughs> anyway, the second t step to selling is selling where you work. Why do you work where you work? Now, assignment, write out five reasons why you work at where you work and five reasons why I should do business with where you work. So now we're at 20, aren't we? <laughs> Let's keep going. Of course, the third step to selling is selling them what you have to offer. So first us, then where we work, and then what we have to offer. Now, there's, there's other processes in the selling process. And I'll be more than happy to share with you, but I'm trying to keep these short and sweet, make them concrete. You'll say, man, Dell, everything you shared with us today is so simple. Yes, it is, but I want to challenge you the next time you go out and buy something, buy You know, I bet you, I'll bet money they don't want to even ask your name. 
if you call a lot of places, I bet you they're upset when they answer the phone. And see, you can separate yourself as becoming better than them just by these little steps. And believe me, I have a lot more advanced stuff I'd love to share with you. But if we don't have your foundation solid and we can't build rapport with our potential clients, none of that other stuff will matter. Anyway, I have a golden opportunity for all those of you in with me tonight. The first hundred people who either email me or private message me at Dell, like the computer, but only one L, Dell, DellHelp.com. We're setting together five weeks of complimentary trainings at my mastermind meeting group. And uh, um, we're going to be talking about different subjects and how to improve ourselves. You see, I need you as much as you need me because iron sharpens iron, doesn't it? Uh, for those who prefer one-on-one, -on -one, to the first 25 that either email me or private message me, I'm going to give them a complimentary one-on-one -on -one half hour session. I, sometimes I have to put on a fire hat because I can't tell you how many companies I do business with that they call me and there's a big fire going on. <laughs> all right, <laughs> trust me, I do it all the time. Uh, for those who enjoyed to say, today's session, you can leave us a tip. For those who can't afford to leave us a tip, but enjoy, just you know, share the message with somebody because there could be somebody out there that needs help and it helped them and it helped me. And I so appreciate you spending time with me this afternoon or this evening. Thank you so very much. My name is Dell, and I'm passionate about changing lives. Have a good evening.